Hello there YouTube fans, Admiral Preparedness here. Once again, we're at our favorite Walmart to do some shopping for our prepping. Stay tuned. And folks, as we always know, variety is a spice of life. So while you're prepping, you might want to think about keeping some of the items that you normally would not have. All the specialty type items. So, you look around your store and you ask yourself, could I put those away and how long would they last? A lot of these items on this shelf will last a very long time as long as they're unopened and do not require refrigeration after opening. That's something to take into consideration that once you open it, it has to be kept in a refrigerator. During the winter, that seems to be no problem because you just stick it outside in the box. But during warm weather, what would you do? Those are the questions you have to always ask yourself when you're food prepping. When I open it, am I going to consume all of it? Or is there going to be some left over and I really don't want to throw away anything? Because when you throw away food, that's waste. And that's money down the drain, folks. We don't want to do that. Comes to prep, when it comes to prepping mayonnaise, I always look for glass containers. I've had too many times these plastic containers fail. And they fail at the lid. Next thing you know, you're throwing money away. So look for the glass containers of Merrick Whip or your favorite egg product. Some of those creature comforts are candies. Look for hard candies. The hard candies will last a whole lot longer than those soft, chewy, gooey, little delicious little items. When you're in a terrible situation, comfort food can always be something to look forward to for those youngsters and oldsters in your party. Good old crunchies and munchies. Boy, I tell you folks, there's always been a time that I love to have a crunchy. But during an SHTF event, these guys are going to go away pretty quick as people like to indulge. Just make sure that if you know how to cook, you can make your own. Now, these guys have a really good shelf life. Just doesn't last very long in the pantry. We all got a sweet tooth. Well, welcome to the canned goods section, folks. Vegetables, condiments. This is the place to sit down and consider how and what you want to store. Glass containers, cans. We all know that cans have been around for a long time. Napoleon and his armies traveled with cans. The only problem was they didn't have a can opener. It hadn't been invented yet. So those poor soldiers had to use their knives to break open those cans. Well, today, some cans are self-opening by the pop-tops, as seen here. And then some cans don't. Remember, when you're prepping, to think about things like that. You really hate to find yourself out there in a situation where you don't have a can opener and you don't have anything sharp. But, if you watch my channel and other channels like mine, you'll find out those ways to get those pesky cans opened. When you're opening cans, remember the same thing about waste. Use what you use, cool what you don't use, throw away to keep those critters away. But remember, throw it away far enough away from your campsite or your bug out area or your domicile. That way you don't attract those animals. And also take into consideration prep time and additional items needed. Some of these items just need water. Some of these items need oil. If there's no oil, you might not be able to prepare that meal. Bottled items like these are long-term food storage up to a point. Keep an eye on the ingredients because those ingredients can go rancid over time. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And folks, let's be honest. A box of macaroni and cheese has the components that you can put together yourself and save a whole lot of money. Buy your cheese product in bulk. Buy your <clears throat> macaroni in bulk. Save yourself some money, folks. And like I said once again, folks, try for the lowest price. Right now, the Walmart's selling these Hormel completes for $1.98. At my other store, they're $2. So a few pennies adds up. But what my store doesn't sell there, they sell, they don't sell, they sell here. Pace ready meals are an excellent meal. Yeah, I don't know if you remember my review on one of them, but I'm gonna get and take some of these home. This is my favorite one, the homestyle noodles and beef. There's small chunks of meat and the noodles and the cream sauce 
it is an excellent alternative. These are real MREs. Now remember, if you don't have a microwave, you could put them in boiling water. If you don't have boiling water, you could put them on a rock on the outside on a hot day. Or you can eat them right out of the container. They are delicious, folks. If you haven't tried these yet, please try. I've not had this one before, but I'll tell you what, when I get home, I'll do a lunch review. These are the kind of items that I always have second thoughts about, but when I try them out, they're really good. Who thinks that you could put a chicken and dumplings in a can and have it come out just like mom's? Well, they've done it. It's pretty good stuff, folks. These little mustard containers are perfect for long-term food storage. They're small, compact, they don't cost a fortune. And remember, they need to be kept cold when opened up so it doesn't take much space in your fridge. And as a new prepper out there, just remember, the less you have to make it to make it good, the better off you are. Meals ready to eat is one of the ways to go because it doesn't take a lot of time, plus it doesn't smell. Those odors can give your position away if you're trying to bug in quietly. So remember, always look for cooking items and cooking foods that you don't have to add a lot of items to and are ready to eat right then and there. I really try to avoid these uh, bowl rices and things like that because bulk rice savings a whole lot of money. When you buy bulk rice or any type of bulk food and you package yourself, you stand a better chance of having a, a life long with those items. And one thing new preppers, the only thing you can reiterate here is we talk about pasta. Pasta will last forever if properly stored and kept away from critters, light and moisture, the things they don't like. The little chili bags, these little chili powders, those are perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect because of the containers are small cans. They're called flexible cans. You can get mild, hot. You can buy the generic brand, but tell you what, it'll spice up every meal. This is something I knew was gonna happen. They have the now containers for your sauces. Now, remember folks, the shelf life. The best buy date, right now it's 2019, June. So that's about a year. I would recommend keeping these under a cool, quiet condition. Use them right away. Definitely use these first. Then go to these guys in your pantry. Always remember, if it's not in a flexible can, this will not last that long. These guys will last a whole lot longer. The new canning technology, I've only seen one can fail. If you go back and look at some of my videos, you'll find one tomato paste can has failed in the last four years. And of course, folks, if this is open, it's going to need to be refrigerated. So if you're going to use it right away, that's how you do it. Otherwise, you're going to have to put it in the fridge. Now that I have a tortilla press, I don't need to buy these anymore. In the near future, I'll do a video on how I make my own tortillas.